Welcome to DNA Spreading Adventures. This is our final stop on our way back from Michigan, Nacida National Wildlife Refuge in Wisconsin. We're looking for the whooping cranes. Be sure to check out our last video where we left Taquamanon Falls in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and encountered this herring gull eating a sea lamprey. It was the most unusual thing we've ever seen. And what beautiful falls. And we found a few life birds there. On our way back down to Colorado, we made a few brief stops. We were going to camp at the Lake Superior Forest State Forest Campground. Look at the dragonflies. Yeah. They're after my flies. But got chased away by flies. So we kept driving south. We're at Picture Rock National Seashore. Oh, wow. We're gonna have to return here another time to see the pictured rocks. The campgrounds are full and it's $160 per person to take a boat ride out or kayak. We're in Econo Falls, Wisconsin. This is the town where Dave's grandma was born and the Spice family. There's the downtown. That was back in 1917, so. These buildings were probably here. They had an old farm and then they moved to Illinois during the depression. Huh, don't blink. We're gonna go try to find the Econo Falls where Dave used to vacation. So the falls are now dammed up, I think. It's a nice park now. This is Econo Falls Lake. It was a beautiful little town and lake. We had lunch and then onward to a true birder's paradise, Nasida National Wildlife Refuge. We just touched the surface of this over 40,000 acre refuge. These are some of the trails that we did in loops and out to the observation deck and Harvey Lake. Just to give perspective, we went probably 12 miles altogether and just went on a few roads. Most were impassable. We saw a wolf right there where that asterisk is. And here we go. We're actually in the Nisida Wild National Wildlife Refuge. It's 40,000 acres and we're looking for some cranes. We'll see what we find. We're gonna go to the visitor center first. We had some rain this morning, but it looks like it's cleared up almost. It's overcast. Our welcoming committee, not cranes, but a brown-headed cowbird at the entrance to Nisida. And a million mosquitoes already. We had to close our windows. And a, is that a catbird? Yep, a cat. Oh, a great catbird, right in there. Also welcoming us along with the mosquitoes. Visitor Center, and there's an observation tower and a couple trails. We've already seen an indigo bunting, brown headed cowbird, red winged blackbirds, gray catbird, and some morning doves. This is the Nisida Visitor Center. There's a lot of interactive activities and stuffed badgers. We're in the badger state. <laughs> they said there was a black bear that came and uh, took down all their bird feeders out here. But here's what it's like. We're gonna go find some trails. Maybe the whooping crane. We'll have to see. The Karner butterfly we're looking for too, it's uh, endangered and it's in this park. So 
That's pretty. Wow. <laughs> Oh, for a time. So you just put out some hummingbird feeders, so probably have the ruby throated here too. They have that. Little theater, little whooping crane statues. There's two. This is the Visitor's Center Trail, it's one mile loop. Let's see what we can find. I love those spider warts. We just came from the visitor center on this one mile loop and there's just tons of birds. The visitor center said there are five nesting pairs of whooping cranes. So we're kind of on the lookout for something white we did see the white-tailed deer, but we also have trumpeter swans here, which are white. Cow. Oh. <laughs> Cowbirds. And you can hear cranes in the background. Save some for the monarchs.
All the milkweed is in bloom. And whatever this is, and some yarrow. And there's some more vetch. Saw a couple white tailed deer. Oh, there's the Carolina larkspur that we saw back there at Wabansi State Park. Oh, and there's some wild roses, lots of them. It's a nice little aspen grove, young trees, and over here they're dead. I don't know, I wonder why. But you can hear a least flycatcher. There's a cedar waxwing over in there. Song sparrow. Warbling vireo. Pretty busy. And then there's honking going on like a traffic jam. <laughs> I think those are the trumpeter swans. Or maybe those were the sandhill cranes. What? Riding on the eagle. Oh, he's on top of it. Bald eagle. <laughs> this eagle was being chased by a red-winged blackbird. I'm pretty sure that the eagle was probably harassing the red-winged blackbird's nest. So there, take that. And then he landed on top. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. All the trumpeter swans are in pairs. Dave counted 24 in this little pond. You can hear him calling. Some trumpeter swans out there. They were just calling, trying to get our attention. <laughs> just kidding. Bunch of barn swallows flying around. Hopefully they're catching some mosquitoes. a pair. Ooh. Huh. They're really communicating. There's another, I can hear a couple more behind me. It was so nice to see all the breeding pairs of trumpeter swans, but we really wanted to spot that whooping crane and and Dave and his keen eye actually spotted two. Whooping cranes. 
for the 40 years Dave and I have been birding, we've never seen whooping cranes, so we were just thrilled. And then just over there are the whooping cranes. Oh my goodness. Nasita has five different pairs. This one apparently is not breeding. They're the tallest bird in North America, over five feet tall with a wingspan of 7.5 feet. One of two crane species that are native to the United States, the sandhill and the whooping cranes. It's so rare to see them. About half are in captivity, the other half are very rare to see with maybe only 600 individuals total. It's very scarce here on the planet, so we need to make sure we take care of them. Nice observation deck. Wanders around through the wetlands. Canada geese. Aww. There's a flower on that one. Ooh, this is gorgeous. There's another observation tower over there. storm that blew down a lot of the trees so now they're cutting them up probably gonna sell them as lumber We just heard a night hawk and a veery. This is the trail.
there's a house wren calling. And there's an empty parking lot at the observation tower in the Cedar Wildlife Refuge. <laughs> we just got the Veery and an Eastern Phoebe, red-headed woodpecker. There was a trumpeter swan out there. Huh? Why is it coming up? Uh, oh no. <laughs> I didn't know they looked so different than the spotted After recent rains, some of the roads were impassable or flooded. Get a little mud on the tires. the area where we spotted a wolf crossing the road and it was collared. There's a tricky vulture on the road. And something makes a lot of noise. Huh? There's a veery in here. Chipping sparrow. This is pretty. Is that a hawk? Oh, it's a raven. It's a raven. Uh-huh. Wow. Hmm. What a birder's paradise. All together, just in an afternoon, we got 56 different bird species and a wolf. We saw a wolf in the park. Heading west. That's La Crosse, Wisconsin. And then now we're going across the Mississippi River. Once again, on the way home. Ended up dodging heat waves and floods and had a little fun. Went to Laura Ingalls Wilder Museum and traveled through the area where she lived in Minnesota. <laughs> and of course, we had to pose Annie Van by the world's largest ring neck pheasant. <laughs> From the tip of its beak to the tip of the tail 40 feet, 28 foot, and 22 tons. And we're still adding birds for our trip home. This is first of the year, burrowing owl. Dave happened to spot it near Yuma, Colorado on our way back home. It was just busy hunting and looking around for an early morning meal. Dave has a pretty sharp eye for spotting this. Bird number 272. We actually are at 
273 right now with a common poor will in our backyard. These are some of the on the road birds we got, including a greater prairie chicken that flew over across the road while we were driving. This is our final video for our 3,100 mile trip to Michigan. We got so many different birds, 150 for the trip, 13 life birds, many for our 2024 list, and lots of new roads. I've compiled some of my favorite bird pictures that Dave took from our three week birding trip. Leave a comment below to let us know what your favorite bird picture is or bird pictures. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us with DNA's Birding Adventures, subscribing, liking, commenting. And that's a wrap for our Michigan trip. Happy trails to you. Until next time.